This is a Fox 13 Quick Cast. Our top story tonight, Northern Utah's largest homeless shelter may be forced to turn people away this winter. Right now, the Lantern House in Ogden is at full capacity and doesn't have anywhere to put people in homelessness. Safety concerns and code enforcement forced the Lantern House to turn people away last summer. And as winter approaches, the number of people asking for help continues to meet record highs. Every night I go home and I think, how many people are going to get turned away tonight? And so we're doing everything that we can. The shelter is working to get up to code so they can accept more people, but it's unclear whether it will happen before winter. A teacher and principal in Kaysville have been reinstated after a student marched in Creekside Elementary's Halloween parade as Adolf Hitler. The Davis County School District says the appropriate disciplinary action has been taken. The district will increase student and employee education. Rabbi Sam Spector of Congregation Kol Ami hopes the entire incident can be a teaching moment. My hope is that out of that, all the parents in that school had a really important conversation with their kids and that the teachers had important conversations with the superintendent. Rabbi Spector will be my guest on three questions this Sunday night, only on Fox 13 News at 9. A Copper Hills High School student is in custody after threatening to shoot up Sunset Ridge Middle School. West Jordan police say after school yesterday, the student got into a fight with students from Sunset Ridge and threatened to shoot and kill them. Investigators heard about the threat after someone used the Safe UT app to report it. It's the best case scenario because any violence was averted. Uh, the school district, I think, has been very active in getting the message out there to parents and teachers that there are resources available. Police say the suspect's family was very cooperative. The suspect is expected to go through the juvenile court system. A boil advisory has been issued for about 40 homes in South Duchesne County. The health department says a case of Giardia may have contaminated the drinking water. The Department of Environmental Quality is investigating. Kristen? The mild weather not going anywhere. Tomorrow morning we'll start off on the chilly side, back in the 30s again for most of us. Lots of sunshine out there, though. We'll start in the low 40s down south. For the afternoon, we are back to the 60s. Normal high this time of the year, 54. And then down in southern Utah, low to mid-70s. Air quality is still a concern, though, as everything's staying really stagnant around here. And we'll probably have moderate levels again for much of the Wasatch Front and our northern valleys. Your 7-day forecast for southern Utah. Temps in the low to mid-70s. Keeping it dry, the record dry streak continues all the way through most of next week and in northern Utah temperatures stay in the 60s and then a slight cool down Monday back to the 50s will keep it dry through most of next week. Thank you Kristen have a good weekend. A new study in Utah has some groundbreaking information on vaping related injuries that could help doctors around the world. It was compiled by a task force at Intermountain Healthcare and looked at more than 60 vaping related illnesses. Doctors created one of the first streamlined guidelines on how to treat the injuries. They say steroids seem to work best. The study was published in The Lancet. There's a new app to help you take a deeper dive into downtown Salt Lake City's art scene. Here's how it works. Just scan a QR code by one of more than 40 murals and other pieces of art throughout downtown Salt Lake City. That will allow you to learn more about that particular art piece. You can look at it and think that's a really cool piece but to be able to understand the history of the artist or what inspired them, or maybe understand different parts about the, the piece, I think it just deepens your understanding and appreciation. The app's launch coincided with the block party tonight, as well as the unveiling of a new mural called Broadway in Edison, paying homage to Salt Lake City's first street-lit thoroughfare. More than 100 Utah County children and teens are now able to see clearly thanks to one charity's work. The Utah Valley Eye Center in Provo teamed up with the group Charity Vision today to host a Sight Buddies event. They provided free vision screening, frames, and prescription lenses for Provo School District students facing financial hardship. Finally, there was a special concert this evening at Temple Square. This 700 voice choir from the Granite School District performed with the Utah National Guard 23rd Army Band ahead of Veterans Day on Monday. The theme of the concert was commemorating the 75th anniversary of D-Day. That's the Fox 13 Quick Cast. Stay tuned. Modern Family starts now.